Hi there. In this video, we're going to show you how to get a quote on EasyShip. Using this feature is a great way to get shipping estimates to any destination around the world and to simply compare couriers. So there are two ways that you can do this. You can go to easyship.com and go to the rates section. The only thing is that you won't be able to see all available solutions for your shipment. That's why we encourage you to sign up for our platform because when you log into the dashboard and get a quote, you'll be able to see the complete list of shipments available. So let's get started. So when you're logged in, go to get a quote. And let's say that we're going to process a shipment for overseas. So let's say the United Kingdom. It's great that if you already have a postal quote in mind because this will give you a more accurate quote. You can also decide whether or not you want to add shipping insurance and if you want to prepay taxes and duties. Go ahead and enter in all of your item details. And this is also important to do because it'll help calculate the taxes and duties that will apply to your shipment. So once you fill in the form, click get a quote and all of the solutions that are available for your shipment will show up. So the first pick will always be the best value for money. If you want to see the fastest solution, you can click on delivery time. And if you're looking for the more affordable or cheaper solution, you can click on cost. Other things that you can look at to compare couriers are the tracking options, the ratings, and the service options. Now let's talk about taxes and duties. So if you hover your mouse over the information icon, you'll notice that here the taxes and duties are estimated. Now the reason why that is, is because if you choose to pay for taxes and duties at delivery, local brokerage companies that work with these custom departments can charge additional fees that are not quoted here. That's why we always recommend that you prepay your tax and duty. So if you wanna do that, all you need to do is scroll back up and then on tax and duty paid by, click on sender and then get a quote again. So now you'll notice that not all of the solutions that we saw the last time are shown here. Um, and now the solutions that are available give you the opportunity to prepay your taxes and duties. So that's how to get a quote. And if you're interested in the solutions that you see and you wanna go ahead and create a label, you can do that. So let's say that I'm interested in this option right here. I can click on select. And then all I need to do is fill in the receiver's information. And then click shipment info. Here it's also important to make sure that you enter in your item description because we'll be using this for your customs paperwork. Once you're done with that, click on choose courier. And then just go ahead and confirm the courier that you'd like to move forward with. Once you've done that, click on your info. And then here you can decide whether or not you want to do a pickup for your shipment or if you'd just like to drop it off. Once you're done with that, you can just go ahead and confirm your payment. On the Manage Shipments page, you'll notice that it'll take a few seconds for your label to generate. But once it's there, all you need to do is click on it and then go to the green Shipping Docs button and download it. And you're ready to go. And that's it. So that's what happens after you decide to create a label from getting a quote. The good news is that if you have hundreds or thousands of shipments to process per day, there's definitely an easier way to do this. And in the next few videos, we'll talk about how to connect your store and how to create multiple shipments. Thanks for listening and we'll see you soon.